Hello and welcome to GitLab 14.7 release. My name is Itzi Gan Baruch, I'm Senior Technical Marketing here at GitLab and I would like to introduce to you a feature we shipped with this release, a bulk delete artifacts with API. So there is a new API to delete in one time all of uh, the artifacts that doesn't have uh, expired date. So uh, here there is a description of uh, this feature, link to the documentation and for the issue like any feature that we have in this release post. So first, uh, let's understand what is the problem to solve in this uh, feature. So I will open uh, the issue and uh, this is the problem to solve section is that today there is no method to clean up all the artifacts in bulk. Uh, users need actually to use their own script using APIs to, to make that. Artifacts are a major driver of storage consumption and many users today do not have any exp expiration policy set and currently by default artifacts never expire. So le let's see an example of a CI configuration file uh, that I created. And here I have a, a job with artifact and I commented out they expire in 20 minutes. That means that the default, this artifact will, will never expire. And if think if I have many jobs with many pipelines and a lot of artifacts, this will be a, a, a high storage uh, consumption. And, uh, and this is why we have this uh, API. So let's open the documentation to see the API and we will uh, uh, make it uh, together. So this is the API and uh, uh, all of the parameters that we need uh, to add to it. And the easiest way is to use the example. I will just click here to copy this example to the clipboard and I will open my terminal and I will uh, paste the example here. And now I will need to change some of the parameters. First of all is the project ID. So I will go uh, to my project and show you how you can get the project ID. This is the project ID. You just click here to copy this and then I will go back to my terminal and control V. Next uh, thing is to change the URL to gitlab.com. Right, and we need also personal access token. So I will go to my profile, edit profile and access tokens. And I will create a temporary token. And then after this, uh, I re this recording, of course, I will uh, delete this token. So don't try to use this uh, later. And the expiration date. Let's say for tomorrow. Anyway, I will just delete it. And the scope will be API. Click here. Great, we have the access token. I copy it and then I go back to my terminal. And I will just replace this. Probably. And now I think uh, we're ready to uh, execute this. So uh, 202 accepted. This is the expected uh, message. That means that, that now worker will go over all of the artifacts that doesn't have, that don't have any expire date and will put the current time for the expire date and they will be ready for a uh, removal in this way in one API we cleaned all of uh, unnecessary artifacts. Uh, just I want to comment uh, one message that I got from engineers is that uh, f it works well uh, for a self-managed GitLab uh, and uh, while in gitlab.com the API works but there is currently a temporary issue with the removal so even if you run it on gitlab.com as I just run it now in GitLab.com, the actual artifacts temporarily will not be removed. Another message is that uh, always, even if we removed all uh, artifacts, 
uh, GitLab never uh, delete the latest artifacts of uh, a run. So this is always uh, kept artifacts for the latest run. So uh, with that, uh, try it yourself if you also use artifacts and uh, you want to make sure that you don't have, you don't reach to your storage. And uh, that's it. So thank you for watching.